What are you doing, Jesus? Are you saying crucify him? Because they're accepting him as your savior. You're saying crucify him. That's right. That's right. Point blank. Or you're saying, let him live. What's your verdict? Pilate buddy come out with a basin of water and said, I'm going to wash my hands because I find no fault in him. We find no fault in him, Pilate, to have the manhood to let him go. So he looked up on him for trial. I tried him. I don't care what you're caught down with. He's not guilty and you got a bank. What happened? The Bible says that a pretty terrible little guy was playing out here. This man came to die. He was born to die. When he's born in the manger, they said the angels told us the shepherd said, you should find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in the manger. What any kind of manger was it? It was a lamb's farm where they bred lambs and the baby lambs were born. They put him in a crib, a feeding trough where lambs were born. He's wrapped up in swaddling clothes as if a mummy. This baby hey, came here to die. That's why his birth is unrecorded by it. Can't pick on his birthday because God didn't give it because his birth is unimportant. The death day was Nisan 14, he dies. Why? Because I put it in the record. Right. On the record of Passover on the 14th. This is the Son of God. This is the fulfillment of Passover. He must die according to my record. And he died on time. So he had died on that day. When? He didn't need the sacrifice, which is what? 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. The third o'clock is what? The ninth hour. After the ninth hour, he did what? He said, it is finished. And did what? He breathed his life out. How? On time. On time. You don't accept Jesus because you feel it in your heart. Well, I just believe it. God gave you facts. About the facts, it doesn't strip your belief to nothing. This man facts, he died on time. He's put in a grave at before 6 p.m. Right? He's not going to be in a grave how long? Three days and three nights, how many hours is that? 72 hours. If he was buried at 6 p.m., what time does he get up? 6 p.m. Well, where does each and Sunday resurrection come from? Not from God's word. I, I, I saw folks on my street this morning. There's a church on block away. So we park on our street sometime. And they're up there. Check the clock. That's an ungodly hour, I'm telling you. I'll get it. If you're walking in the Bible, that will sleep in the case. Going to celebrate his resurrection and have a sunrise service. What happened? You see. You see. God didn't do anything at sunrise. That's Bell's time. The sun died. They worship Bell when the sun came up. Because Elijah had a showdown with Bell's prophets. 450 prophets of Bell. He said, Tell you what, we're going to have a showdown. We're going to, we're going to prove who the real God is. We're going, to, we're going to have a showdown. We're going to have your sacrifices. And the God that answered my fire from heaven, that's the real God. So they want to start first. Why? Because it's time for the sun to come up. Bell is activated by the sun. So we're from Bell, so we're praying to Bell. And so they hide the Bell, they, they, they get to, it's not like, I'm telling you, without the knives, it's not like a church, it's like a, a Pentecostal worship church. That's how I can strength. There's something wrong when somebody gets thrown around. You gotta get a blanket and cover them up. Verses of God does not behave himself unseemly. That's unseemly. You know? Somebody got to be embarrassed because of, and, and, and it seemed like they always that kind of stuff when he brought his friends to the church. He brought your friends to the church and that's when somebody, ah, and they, they fall out and the friends come over here, you know? And us, you got to come and cover them up, you know? And that's kind of working. Get real. Like, they hands on her, they lay my, Jesus, you know what I mean? I got these guys working at Ghost Jammer, you know, and they, 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 well, if God knocked him down, let him fall. All right. you know, I can't get, I can't get healing from, from, my, from my back, and you know, I'm not got a back problem. Because <laughs> God knocked him down. Why does that make any sense? Huh? I come get prepared for a headache, and I was worse because the person, you know, I, they, they, they call it slaying the spirit. They're slaying the spirit, not the rest of the preacher. The spirit didn't do that. And the church goes on with it. Look 
at all the illustrations of God's word when Jesus came, what did he do? He lifted them up. He lifted the folks up. He said, oh, stand up. Take up your bed and walk. He never knocked anybody down the spirit. They all got them raised up. So what's the spirit that knocks them down? It's not his. I can go on and you see. Everybody preach the sexual term, okay? Right now it's market time because I don't have to walk out. <laughs> 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 I 